The final home game of 2015 is upon us. Florida State takes on Chattanooga. I'm Lane Hurt along with Jonathan Shalasi. Let's get to our three keys. Not really a key, but an observation. Florida State wearing black uniforms this week. First time with these new black uniforms and helmets. Guys seem excited. What are your thoughts? I think everybody's excited, not just the guys, the fans. I mean, this, this was a question to Coach Fisher for a couple years now. Ever since we changed jerseys, you know, when new, Nike came out with the new uniforms everyone wants to see these helmets these black jerseys it's gonna be it's gonna look pretty cool yeah I think we were just talking about it a few minutes ago I think it's because Florida State doesn't have like five or six different uniform combinations that this is exciting they finally get to wear those uniforms I know the seniors have been bugging coach Fisher about it yeah and what's interesting is that they're doing it on senior day and coach really doesn't like to do that because it doesn't match all the other pictures but I think the seniors want to know want to be known that they're the class that brought these black uniforms to existence all right now to the actual game, we got to look at some of the keys. Let's start with the starting quarterback, who the Knowles named for the rest of the season, Sean McGuire. This is his opportunity to prove that this is his team. Yeah, no, that's that's the big key. He's only played back-to-back -back starts once in his career. He can finish out the season, three games left. Can he play well as the starter? Well, he's, he's got a, a lot of help because it seems like the team play is really hard for him. They like having him out there for sure. Not a knock on Everett Golson because the guys have said that they all like him out there too, but there's just something about Sean McGuire that the guys really respond to. Well, they came in with this guy working with them. You know, you, you, know, you talk about just Travis Rudolph alone. I mean, these guys have been working together for a couple years now. The same thing with a bunch of these guys. These are young guys that have been working with Sean McGuire. They have a rapport. That's why they really like this guy. Our final key, probably a pretty obvious one. Who's the quarterback's best friend? That would be number four there in the backfield, Dalvin Cook. He's been something phenomenal this year. Uh, broke the record against Warwick Dunn. What else can you say about the guy? I, I'm surprised that he's so far low on people's Heisman watch. He's no doubt the most explosive back in college football. He's had so many big plays. I think we would like to see a few really big highlight reel runs this week against Chattanooga. This week's going to be big. You know, you pad your stats a little bit, but I think next week's even bigger. You know, you're going to take on a top 11 team. If you could have a big game against Florida as well, I, I don't see why he can't be in the top three of the Heisman. I agree. I think he should already be there to begin with, but he's got a chance to prove his point as well as the rest of the Seminoles this week. Senior Day, Florida State versus Chattanooga. Make sure you stick with Seminoles.com before, during, and after the game. We'll have video highlights and post-game reaction, and senior writer Tim Lenefelt will have his analysis as well. For Jonathan Shelley, I'm Lane Hurt. We'll see you inside Doe Campbell Stadium.